In a recent interview with Jesse Fink, author of Bond, The Last Highway, the untold story of Bond Scott and ACDC's Back in Black, addressed lingering questions about whether Bond Scott's family received royalties from the iconic album. The discussion highlights a complex history surrounding Scott's legacy and the financial aspects of one of rock music's most celebrated records. Fink shed light on the claims made by Vince Lovegrove, a close associate of Scott, who had access to the late rocker's family. Lovegrove had previously asserted that Scott's family received royalties for Back in Black on his personal blog. Tragically, Lovegrove passed away in a car accident in 2012, leaving behind unanswered questions. According to Fink, the official stance from Scott's estate indicates that while the estate did not receive royalties for the songs on Back in Black, this wording raises further ambiguity. That's not saying that they didn't get paid, Fink clarified, emphasizing the estate's lack of response to inquiries regarding the matter. The discussion also touched on persistent rumors that Scott had written lyrics for the album shortly before his untimely death on February 19, 1980. ACDC frontman Brian Johnson addressed these rumors in a 2022 interview with Metal Edge, affirming that Scott's family would receive financial benefits from his work. I know that because I got them back in black royalties. That's the simple answer, Johnson stated, reinforcing the idea that Scott's contributions were properly recognized. Back in Black remains a monumental achievement in music history, currently holding the title of the fourth best-selling album of all time, with 31.1 million certified copies sold worldwide. As the discussion around royalties and legacy continues, it underscores the enduring impact of Bon Scott's artistry on rock music and the complexities that often accompany it. <laughs>